In today's video, we're diving into the powerful Facebook ad library, which is also known as the meta ad library, which is a tool that every digital marketer should know. I'll show you how to search for specific ads by advertisers or keywords, how to find perfect ad creative and analyze competitor strategies. So whether you're looking for ad copy examples, landing page insights, or how to find competitor promotions, the ad library is really powerful. I'll also show you how to identify the best advertising practices, track trending campaigns, and gather targeting data to optimize your own Facebook ad strategies. Make sure to check the chapters below down in the video as it'll call out each section. So let's dive into the Facebook ad library. This is what the meta or Facebook ad library looks like. If you want to get there, you can just Google Facebook or meta ad library and it'll be the top option at Google or you can just head to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash library. Link will also be down below in the description. You land on this page here and it kind of gives you information on what exactly to expect. So the ad library allows you to search for all of the ads that are currently running across Meta. Um, you can also look for social issues and you can find ads that have run anywhere in the EU in the past year. So what you can do is you can go to this section here. You can search by keyword, you can search by page, you can search by issue. And there are a lot of different um, options here, which we'll be diving through. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to search ads and select the country that you're in. So I'm in the United States currently. And then you have five different options here. So you can search for all of the ads on Meta, or you can search for the sensitive categories on Meta. So you can look for issues, elections, politics, housing, employment, or financial products and services. In this video, we're just going to go through all ads, but just know if you go into like politics, for example, you're able to see more information like targeting or spend or things like uh, that, that are more specific to that advertiser. So it, it needs to be disclosed essentially. So you get more information there. But again, purposes of this video, we're going to go for all ads. And then what we can do is we can search by keyword or by advertiser. So you can see I've got a couple of saved examples here. So you'll, um, depending on what you search, you will um, get information here. But let's say I want to look for Costco, for example. I can search for Costco, and then typically the way it works on Meta is you will see a blue check mark, and the blue check mark means that it's a verified page. So if I were to click on this one, I know that it's the official Costco page. If I were to go to some of these other examples, it's an unofficial page that is not um, associated with that business. So keep that in mind as you're searching for different competitors within this box here. But if I were to search for Costco, for example, and click on um, Costco, I would get an idea of exactly all the different type of ads that they're running. And they tell me a couple of things here. So this is what this page will look like. It tells you who the advertiser is, a little bit about them. If you click on it, um, it gives you some page history information. So it tells you like, you know, who's responsible for the page, the people who like manage this page as well, how often it's changed, when it was created, um, and then just some like high level stats in this about section here. But if you go back to ads, you get a bunch of information and you can see all of the ads that were launched recently. And then it goes back uh, within one year of data. So it also showcases the different types of ads that are live with this active tag at the top of the page, which is pretty neat. So you can get the active ads that are currently running. Um, so let's say I want to see this first ad right here. So it's showcasing how you can use your FSA dollars before they advise, uh, before they expire. So it tells you this information about this one ad here. Um, I can click on see the ad details and then what it'll do is it'll show the ad on the left hand side over here. It'll tell you again, the information about the advertiser, which we already kind of know about. And then one of the most powerful things is it'll showcase the landing page that you are sending people to. So for this specific ad, you can click on, on the actual ad here and it showcases exactly where they're dropping people. So the really nice thing about this is if you are running ad campaigns of your own, you can do some competitor intelligence to find out where are they sending their Facebook ads? What do their landing pages look like? What are their call to actions, their promotions, potentially their audience? So it's a really great tool that you should be using perhaps monthly to quarterly to find out all the different things your competitors are doing. And it allows you to just really put on like that spyglass there and find out exactly how they are performing. So um, really high level it showcases um, the messaging, the landing page, and then obviously the ad. Um, let's say I want to find all of these FSA ads because I've also got FSA dollars that I'm using within my campaign. You can filter by keywords here on the right hand side of the screen so I can type in FSA. And then when I do that, I will get all of the ads with FSA in it, which is pretty neat. So that's one thing that can happen. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can save this search. So, so let's say I want to come back to this page very frequently. I can click on save search. And then when I 
go back to the previous screen, this will always be a saved search of mine and I can come back here very frequently. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna call this Costco ads. So the, that's probably one of the most powerful things that you can do is look at the ad copy, the landing page, and then potentially even like the audience and the time they've been running these ads too. You can get an idea of when they launched. So these specific ads launched on November 1st and you can go all the way back to, you know, here's ads in October. Um, we can go back to September as well. So it'll showcase all the different ads that they're running. It's not going to show you ad spend that is running with these ads, which is one thing that you cannot get with this tool in this ad category. Like I mentioned before, if you go back to the issues, elections, or politics, you can get ad spend that is being spent by category. But right now, it's not going to tell you how much is being spent per ad. It will tell you where the ad is live. So like here is live on you know Meta, Instagram, Audience Network, and Messenger. It tells you everywhere it's live. So that's one other helpful area. But again, the biggest thing you're going to find here is by clicking on see ad details, see what the ad looks like itself, clicking on learn more or the CTA, and it'll show you exactly where they're dropping people off um, for their landing page. So just a really powerful tool to determine what our competitor is running. The next thing we're going to talk about, which is if you head back to the ads library homepage here, is how to use the keyword search function within ads manager. So searching for keywords in ads manager is also really important. An example that I like to use here is let's say that I'm a dentist or some of my clients are dentists and I want to find all of the different um, promotions that other dentists are running um, on Meta. And the reason why that's important is because if somebody else is running an ad like this or a creative like this, um, it's probably working for them in some capacity, especially if you find multiple advertisers running these types of ads. So if I find the same type of ad across multiple advertisers, it's one thing that I may want to consider testing within my vertical, within my own ad testing campaign. So I already have some things saved here um, where I have dental, cleaning, and free. And what this means is I can search for a keyword and I can search for dental or dentist and I can just search for it. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna show me everything dental related. But the, the nice thing about using those pipes that I was showing before, so this is um, just like the pipe right here, you hold on shift and press the button above enter, is if you use the pipe, you can type in multiple things here. So in my example that I had is I, I wanted to look for the word dental, I wanted to look for the word cleaning, and I wanted to look for free. And the area you kind of find that is, is here within this view search tips. They tell you different things that you can use. So I can use like exact phrases, for example. So I can put it in quotation marks, um, which is, is phrase match for you Google ad advertisers. So it's a little different, but you can do um, exact match phrases. So I could say, Mary likes cheese sandwiches. What that is going to do is it's going to show me all of the ads that have it within that exact phrase. The other thing it's going to do is if I want words in any order, so if I want to see the you know sandwiches, cheese, and Mary, you separate it by pipes. So in my example here, if I want to find like dentist promotions, I could type in dental, cleaning, and then free. Because my thought is, is the promotion is going to have like a free dental cleaning in some way, and I want to find the different ads that people are using, the messaging, the video, the creative, and just get an idea of exactly what they're performing. And I also want to see the landing pages that they're sending people to as well, because it allows you to really go deep down the, the rabbit hole here to find out exactly what other businesses are doing on Meta. So if I type in this example here with dental cleaning and free, you can see that all of my ads here now have like that exact like sentiment behind it. So people are saying like, hey, here's a dental cleaning, $35. Um, this is um, dog's loss of appetite. So this is dog dentist. So um, probably not as helpful there um, in, in my specific example. But hey, free dental care for veterans. So that's like interesting with Veterans Day, you know, right around the corner uh, at the time of recording this video. So let's say I want to look at um, Allen Dental Lounge for like an example here. It says, get your free take, take home whitening kit. I can see the ad details, see the ad that they're running here. Interesting that they're using a QR code as well. That could be one interesting thing to potentially test. This is obviously more for like print advertising, so probably not the best for meta. So this is one area that could perhaps use improvement. And then you can see this ad right now is just a call now special. So this is you know just directing people to call them um, right away. So not sending people to a specific landing page. Let's see if we can find one that has like a landing page for like an example here as well. So if I go to um, Jasmine Gill free teeth cleaning, they do have a contact us page. So they also have like, you know, affordable dental cleanings. They're saying a free teeth cleaning for dental hygiene students looking for people interested, uh, which is which is interesting from an ad standpoint. So let's see the contact us page here. 
it's going directly to a Facebook Marketplace listing. So uh, for, for this example, uh, sorry for the, the images there. If people don't want to see teeth, um, I'm trying to get off that quick. But you guys get the idea. You can look exactly at these ads to find like what the top performing um, combinations are. Let's do one more example. If I want to do like Google Ads um, free and consult or something like that. Again, my thought process being I want to find people who are talking about Google Ads and then offering free consults. I want to see what type of ads that they're running on Meta. And that's just like the really strong piece behind this tool. So Riser Media is doing a bunch of this, it looks like. So Riser Media looks like they're talking about, you know, turnkey Facebook and Google advertising fulfillment, getting like a free consultation. Uh, Tovo Digital Marketing, they've got like some carousel type of ads here where I can go back and forth between the different types of images. So I can go through the carousel of images here, which is interesting. That's that's cool. Um, again, you can get an idea of the different types of ads that they're running. You've got someone that this is feels more newspaper type of ad, right? Like this feels like newspaper, yeah, I would call it. We've got a video ad and then we've got like a carousel ad as well in this example. Um, and then we've got more videos as well and then even more videos. So um, for purposes of like this video I'm going to open up like this ad because I feel like this is probably the one that is I would get the most value from just kind of looking at it. So they're a customer focused digital marketing agency and they want what's best for their clients. Great, great, great. So some unique selling features around that. I think the power from this ad specifically comes from these carousels where they kind of are mentioning all of the different services that they offer in these little carousel cards. So, you know, everything your business needs to grow. Guess what? We awful, we offer social media marketing. Great. We design websites, we do paid ads, branding. So this is really clean. This is nice. This is something that I might be looking at if I were designing these types of ads to get an idea of what type of direction to go into. And the other nice thing is every one of these carousels goes to a unique page. So this first one here goes directly to like their home page. So it goes directly here. Um, nice image on the site here with the palm trees. Um, you've got that. Um, they've also got like social media marketing. So I can see exactly social media marketing. What are they mentioning on this page? How are they kind of capturing that information? So again, from a creative standpoint, you can really see the types of ads that people are running, can go back to their landing pages, see where they're running the ads, when they started running the ads, and you can track this iteration over time. So if Tovo Digital Marketing, if I think they're doing just a standout job, I can click on their name here, and then I can view all of their ads that they're running on their page. So that's just one of the ads. Well, at this point, this is the only ad that they're running and I think they're doing a great job with it. So again, if they were running more, I'd be able to click on this page here, get an idea of the types of ads that they're running and I'd be able to run that analysis over time. And then going back to the beginning, I can click on save search, save that for a future and come back to it as well, which is just super powerful. So that's the meta ad library. You can do a lot with it. My recommendation would be to jump in here maybe every month to every quarter looking for different messaging, landing page, and then who your exact competitors are as well. There's a lot you can do with it. Um, it's, it's changing every once in a while. Like I mentioned, if you're in a specific um, restricted vertical, there are more rules here. So this is just for all ads. And then they do have additional tools as well, where you can look at like um, information and track spending and then customizing your own search through their API. So there's a lot of different searches there, but um, for the meta ad library, this is just a great tool to spy on competitors. Let me know if you have any questions down below, down in the comments. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. Bye.